Hi, SAGE students. My name is Carlene Palante. I'm director of the Career Planning Office here at SAGE. And welcome to our first of three webinars that we are doing on what career skills you can actually gain at home. So while you are at home and we're very much missing you on campus, there are some things that you can do to help to boost your career. And we want to empower you to do some of these things um, while you are at home. So today we are gonna be talking about doing some exploring of career. So if you're still unsure of your major or not sure what you can do with your certain major, uh, there are a lot of majors such as business or psychology or um, law and society. There are so many things that you could do with those different Measures that we want to help you narrow down exactly the career that you might be interested in doing. So, um, just a quick poll to start off our webinar. Uh, why did you choose your major? So, you know, think to yourself was it someone? who influenced you? Was it a family member? Was it a friend? Um, maybe you were exposed to a certain career. Um, maybe you volunteered somewhere. Um, maybe you had a part-time job over the summer. What is it that influenced you to go into currently what you're doing or maybe you know, start thinking about what are some of the things that you like, some things that you dislike, how can you um, figure out exactly what could be a good path for you. So some things you can think about when making a decision as far as major, um, you know, if you go into a certain occupation, what's your lifestyle going to be like? Are you going to be able to uh, manage if you know having a family is important to you are you going to be able to juggle all of these things in your life what's your schedule going to be like um, are you if you're going into nursing are you going to be working nights are you going to be working in a hospital are you going to be working in a nursing home there's so many different environments that you could be in um, What's important to you? Is where you live important to you? Um, if it is, then knowing what the jobs are in that area is important to know. Um, what your work hours will be? Are you gonna be traveling? What kind of job security is that occupation gonna have if you go into it? Um, so th there's definitely a lot of things to think about. And then, of course, we want you to enjoy what you're doing, right? We want it to be a fit for who you are, your skills, your personality, your um, what you're good at academically, right? So if you are not so great at some of the hard sciences, maybe something like going into nursing is is going to be a little bit more difficult, um, you know. But if you like working and helping people, maybe something um, more like teaching or going to work in a nonprofit could be something that um, would be helpful to think about. So, other things to think about when you're thinking about your future, what kinds of activities are you going to be doing on a daily basis? Sometimes doing an actual shadow of someone in an occupation, not sometimes, but most of the time, um, would be very helpful. So, if you haven't thought about doing something like that, that might be something to think about. Um, so, what kind of work environment you know, like I was talking about nursing before, you basically as a nurse can, um, you know, get to experience the different populations, the different environments, 
Um, you know, is it working with older adults? Is it working with kids? Is it working in a hospital? Is it being, um, you know, going from house to house and actually being um, a home health nurse? So there's so many different kinds of environments that you could be in, just trying to understand what might fit you. Um, and then thinking about what kind of education or training, if you are going into an occupation that is going to require you to attend graduate schools um, or even get your doctorate degree, um, you know, are you willing to spend the time, spend the energy, spend the money and the training um, in order to go into that occupation? Other things to think about, you know, when you're choosing your major, there are lots of students that change their major. So, um, you know, don't worry about it if you're, you're changing your major. Um, a third of all first year college students are usually changing their major at least once within three years. And then about one in 10 actually change it twice. I know myself, um, you know, this is years ago, but I did change my major um, twice before um, I ended up settling on what I was going to major in. Um, and then if you're in a STEM field, you know, if you're um, focused more on, on science and mathematics and um, technology, um, it's actually more likely um, that you would change your major than some of the other liberal arts majors. So, and there's other things to consider. Um, we are in a time when, um, you know, we're taking a hard look at the economy and, and seeing, you know, who's still hiring, what are the trends, but things like artificial intelligence, um, as you see, technology has really played an influence on um, the current situation and being able to still function in, in your job. So um, think about technology, um, think about what's in demand right now. What are the essential workers right now? Um, healthcare, um, we have technology, we have um, supply chain, groceries, we have pharmacy, um, banking. Um, so there certainly are a lot of things that are in demand. Um, government positions are, you know, one of the trends that you can look out for um, definitely within the, the coming year. Or so th is there going to be more of a need for um, government work um, to, to get us along in this crisis? So 21% um, of millennials said they changed jobs within the past year. So you know, it isn't like it used to be where um, you see professionals stay in their jobs for 10, 15 years before switching positions. Um, with our younger alums, we're seeing it more often that they're going to the next job, they're moving up. So um, certainly things to consider where you start your career, but then also where you end up. You know, personally, I've pretty much switched entirely what I've been doing. This is really my third career. I started out as a technical writer, um, and then I, um, from there, I um, was in higher ed, but now I'm in career services. So, so there's certainly, you know, time to change, and, and this goes into the myths of what you're doing for your own career, that there's only one perfect job for you. No, the likelihood of you changing careers completely three or four times over your lifetime, or even more than that, is very likely. Um, and your major determining your career, you aren't necessarily gonna end up sticking with that major and what you're doing. It's, you know, you're here in college to understand um, the skills that are necessary to go into any career, 
um, sure some of the majors like nursing and um, health sciences, OT, PT are going to be a little bit more technical with the skills that you're learning, but you're also gaining communication skills, professionalism, um, the ability to work as a team, all of those skills are going to be transferable into whatever major or job that you go into in the future. So um, don't think that your major is, is really going to determine where you end up. Um, career choices are lifetime, lifelong decisions, like I said. Um, on the average now, someone is changing careers three, four times over the lifetime, um, more than that. So for, for um, this generation that is, you know, graduating or still in college, um, those career choices are just gonna, um, you're just gonna keep building on your skills. If you become a lifelong learner, you're just gonna keep adding to um, what you can bring to the table for an employer. Okay, so I quickly want to go over um, some of the tools that we do offer in our office. So we have what's called Focus 2 and Candid Career. So let's, let's quickly chat about Focus 2. And you might have done the Focus 2 assessment in your um, first year seminar class or your ITD class. And what the Focus 2 is, is this an online assessment tool. So it looks at everything from your skills, what you like to do for fun, for leisure, um, what you're good at academically. It looks at your personality. Um, it looks at your values. And it um, helps you determine what are some careers that actually might fit with your values, with your personality. And then you can actually combined, combine all of those things too and determine some careers that might fit you. So um, why would you do the focus two? Like I said, you might have done it um, in your first year seminar. Um, you might have worked on it with us. If you haven't, it's a really good tool to help you determine um, what are some careers, explore some career options. Um, and um, I'm going to show you a little bit about how this tool works. Um, it can help you select a major. Um, it has a feature I'll show you in a little while that what can I do if I majored at this stage? And it pulls up some possible career paths for you um and maps out a plan for you so so how do you get on to the focus to um sage.edu slash focus to really easy url there and the password for that is gator um so what you want to do is start taking all the assessments on there there this probably will take you about a half an hour total um, but there's five different assessments there. So like I said, it looks at your work interests, um, your values, your personality, your skills, and leisure. Um, and then you can also fill out career planning readiness, which is helping you determine um, how far along you are in planning your career, what steps can you take to make the most of what you're doing now to um, lead you on a good career path, and then looking at your academic strengths as well. And so once you have all that done, you can look at, explore the possibilities, which I'm gonna show you in a little while. And like I said, you can combine your assessments to look at some possible um, careers that might fit you. So this is what it looks like when you log in. Um, like I said before, you have on the left hand side here the career readiness, your academic strengths, um, and then you have these skills assessments, what I sh um, should just describe. This, this um, down here on um, the right column at the bottom is your combined assessments. So you 
once you're done taking all of the different tasks for the focus two, you combine the assessments and then it's going to um, help you with some possible um, occupations that might fit you. So, um, so let's take a look at that actually. So I'm gonna pull up a live focus two. This is actually mine. So um, if I go to these combined assessments, looks like I have to log in again real quickly. A little glitch there. Okay, so if I go to combine assessments and I'm going to click on every one of these guys, then I'm going to continue and look at my results. So I actually have 11 occupations that fit in four of my assessments. Um, I am in education, so you'll see that there's a lot of education popping up here um, under major. You'll see over here the values, personality, skills, and leisure that um, pop up. So that's why this was a good fit for me. I just want to show you what it looks like when you look at an occupation. So let's take a look at substance abuse counselor so it actually goes through that occupation gives you the overview of that occupation what is the summary of what you would be doing here are the job tasks so reading this you really understand what you would be doing day to day how you would be working with clients um, this work interest profile shows you how good of a fit this is for you. So I'm in the blue and um, someone who's typically in a substance abuse counselor role um, fits these different, um, the pink here. The skills that you would need to use. So um, helping, listening, persuasion, reasoning. Does this sound like you? Does it sound like this is something that would fit you? Value, same thing, helping others or taking work conditions. So do you make decisions? Do you um, have contact with unpleasant people? Are you okay with that? Face-to-face <laughs> um, -face communication strict deadlines so um, teamwork is on there as well so you know if if you look at the work conditions and it's something that doesn't fit you let's move on to the next type of occupation uh, what do you need in order to be a substance abuse counselor what are the education you would need what are some majors at stage that might fit you uh, what are some other majors what is the job outlook? This is important. If you're looking at a job that doesn't have the greatest outlook for the future, maybe you don't want to go into that. Um, this one is 14% growing. So, um, so it's, you know, got a pretty good growth rate there. Earnings you're looking at about 32,000 to 52,000 a year. Um, so again, if that's something that's not fitting you, let's move on to the next one. So I just wanted to show you a little bit of how that would look and focus to. You also have a tab here that says explore possibilities. So this is really helpful. You can do what can I do with a certain major offered at the Sage Colleges? You can explore any major and related occupations. You can um, explore occupations by family, and then you can actually compare two different occupations side by side. So that's something that is really helpful if you're trying to decide between an occupational therapist maybe and a physical therapist what is the difference what 
is the difference in salary? What is the difference in education? What is the difference in job responsibilities? Um, so that could be really helpful to do that. Okay, so once you're done um, with the focus two, you do have some career planning results there. You have occupations, you have majors, you have a portfolio you can do. So you can actually save the majors, you can save occupations, um, and that would be helpful to refer back to. So if there's some majors that you're thinking about, some occupations you're thinking about, you can save them here and refer back to them. So once you do the focus two, you are not on your own going over these results. So we can help you with going over the results, seeing how you can further explore those certain occupations. You can do that through our walk-ins. So we're still doing walk-ins um, every Wednesday from 12.30 to 4.30. You can fill out that form and we will um, help you, assist you right away, reach out to you through Google. Um, and then we have our um, appointments as well. So you can just email Troy Career Planning or Albany Career Planning and we will get back to you. Okay, I also wanted to show you on our website a new video platform that we actually have and it's all about exploring careers. There's over 12,000 videos on this website called Candid Career. So if you go on the stage.edu slash career website. This is what it looks like right now. And right here on the right side is our candidate career spot. So you're gonna click on that. And then this is what it looks like. There are, like I said, around 12,000 different professionals um, and videos. And so you can actually explore careers by, um, typing in the occupation that you're interested in. And there's also under this get hired tab at the top here, there's different videos on um, networking, on interviewing. Um, one that's really popular right now is virtual interviewing. So you can educate yourself again while you're home on some of these crucial career skills. So let's just take a look at, you can actually look by your college major. So um, for this, I just did an example of, oh, occupational therapy. Um, we're just seeing what came up when you hit, oh, so occupational therapist is on there. So these are real life people who do these jobs. Um, so you don't need to set up an interview with a person that you don't know necessarily. You can watch all these videos and learn about what they do day to day and they have advice for you as well. So this is really helpful if you're really trying to decide on um, a certain career. Um, like I was saying before, there are some videos here too of different skills. So we have resume, we have um interviews we have that virtual interviewing which is an important skill that you are gonna experience most likely um, with employers employers are certainly going to this format for the time being during COVID-19 um, but they also might likely continue to do this since it is cost effective um, for the employee that is um, at that employer and also for the interviewer as well, um, inter interviewee um, as well. And um, so, you know, a lot of things that we're doing through technology, you know, might continue because it is um, worthwhile and saves time. So, so I'd encourage you to take a look at those, at those videos. So, what else can you do while you're at home? So we have Focus 2, Candid Career. Those are really great ways of exploring careers. But other things you can do is just talking to your network. So who is in your network? Your network is everyone you know. So it is your family. It is your extended family. Um, you know, find out what people do for work. We don't 
a lot of times we don't have these real conversations of, you know, how did you get into that? What did you major in in college? Um, what are your biggest clients? What do you actually do day to day? Um, something like that, where you're asking questions and finding out information is calling it an informational interview. So um, you can do that with just who you know in your network, you're at home, you might be on these video chats with your family, talk to them about this. You're trying to decide on a career, could they help you? They're more likely to say yes than no. Um, people love to talk about themselves and tell you uh, how they got into things. So um, it's a great way to explore. Um, you know, talk to your neighbors, talk to, you know, like I said, who was on that video call that you could talk to about it. Um, the other thing you can do is reach out through LinkedIn and do an informational interview. So, you know, there is called um, an alumni tool that is on LinkedIn. So you actually search for the Sage Colleges if you're on LinkedIn, and then you search for alumni, and then alumni will pop up and you'll see where they work, what they do, what they majored in. And I'm actually gonna go over that a lot more tomorrow. So, um, but it's certainly a great way to explore careers. Um, and get to know, is this, you know, is this something I'd like? Is this just something I wouldn't like? Um, and again, we want to empower you to find that out. And you can, you know, spend a little bit of time doing that while you're here at home. And it really would go a long while. Um, these informational interviews can lead to possible job shadows, possible internships, possible summer jobs down the line. So, um, you know, you don't have anything to lose by asking some questions and trying to gain some um, information for yourself to help yourself in the long run. You can also talk to faculty, talk to staff at SAGE, you know, how did they get into it? Um, a lot of our faculty have worked in the field, so talking to them about you know, what did they do in that particular field? Um, you know, a lot of our department and management faculty have been in the field. Um, and one of the best questions you could ask during one of those interviews is, is there someone you know that you could refer me to that I could talk to? And this would be, you know, another person that could possibly open the door for you, will possibly get more information, a possible job shadow, a possible, you know, a connection for you down the line. So, um, I love to know how you thought this webinar won. Um, so here's the eval, if you wanted to fill that out um, on Campus Labs. I'll leave that slide up for a minute if you wanted to um, go to that website. And um, we don't have anyone that is actually live on the webinar, but I would be very happy to take your questions or um, feedback um, regarding this webinar. You can shoot me an email at plum2 at sage.edu and make sure to follow us on Facebook and Instagram. Um, right now we are doing a contest for um, a $15 Amazon card if you do like us or tag us, um, tag some of your friends to, to um, like us as well. So um, our office is open virtually. I just wanted to emphasize that, that we are here for you. So any of your needs, please send us an email, um, Troy Career Planning, for Albany Career Planning. We are very happy to meet with you. We are still doing those walk-in hours. We are going to continue to put out some webinars to um, really provide some content for you for um, gaining some skills at home um, and also um, gaining some knowledge as well on how you can further your career. 
So, so thank you so much. It was so um, wonderful to join you today and we look forward to seeing you very soon. Take care. Bye-bye.